to see what else we want to talk about today. Well, actually, there was history this week. Aha! Yes, Aha. there was history. There's also future history this week. Future history. Future mm. history. Let's talk about that real quick. Welcome, everyone, to, to this notes. week in anime history, <laughs> where I talk about things that happened this week in anime history, beginning back in 1928 with the birth of Osamu Tezuka, godfather of manga and anime, technically. Wow. Um, obviously, manga and anime, manga and animation existed before him, but uh, Tezuka is credited for creating manga, because as we know today, a lot of the genres, a lot of the concepts uh, were, uh, were inspired by a lot of his works. Uh, creator of Astro Boy and Dororo and a number of other other very influential uh, uh, manga works. So um, thank you, Tezuka, for the the many things you've given us. Um, then uh, a few years later, saw the birth of Yoshiki Tomino, creator of Mobile Suit Gundam, as well as a number of other works like uh, King 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 Gainer, King 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 of Gainer. You'll know if you've ever seen it. Um, he's uh, an incredibly prolific creator, really. A lot of anime over the past decades. Obviously, Gundam, his best-known work, but a lot of other other uh, stuff uh, and other things. So, um, And still with us, still talking, still debating the, the relative merits of anime, um, still out there, uh, very much involved in, in the world, which is very uh, lovely to see. And then finally, a bit of future history. Uh, November 6th, 2022... Sword Art Online goes into public launch, and uh, the public is able to now use Sword Art Online, and uh, everything goes well. That's all the news for this week. Thank you for watching, and see you all next week.